Hi all of our subscribers and friends on YouTube. Today I am going to show you pig ear notching. And ear notching is the identification system used by many um, farms and associations for marking your herd and for marking your litters. So today we are doing sprout and sprout is the runt of our litter. Um, I know that she's going to be a little bit easier to mark. You have um, herds marks that you can get um, so you want to look into that. We are just doing litter markings and individual pig markings today. So Sprout is um, from litter number one and she is pig number five. So she is going to get her right ear um, clipped once down here on the bottom and for her left ear, that's your individual pig marking, she's going to get a number three mark and two number one marks. So you add those up and it makes number five. Just Google pig marking identification. I can put links in the website um, about that. For the Tamworth Association, they're all about the same. So it's number for, like I'll just show you kind of on my ear, it's number one, number three, and number nine. The very tip of the ear is 81. And up here, closer to the head, um, between that number nine and the head, is number 27. So once you get higher up in your litter numbers, um, you'll need to know those also. So I can't imagine us ever getting to number 81, but in years to come, eventually. So if you are marking your pigs at the beginning of the year, your first litter of the year would be number one um, because you want to mark them to when they were born. Uh, so our next litter, we won't mark it number one because they'll get kind of confused. So we're going to mark our next litter number two because our first litter was late in the year. Um, so just to show you, this is the pig marking clipper and it's called a small ear notcher. This is from Producers Pride at Tractor Supply and this makes a small nip in the ear. So just to show you, this is the mark that it makes and you just hold it up to the ear. You don't want to go too far into the ear. Some people go all the way up like that. It's not really necessary to go that far up. And also you want to, prior to using it and in between litters, you want to wash it with soap and water and sanitize it. It's stainless steel, medical grade. Um, so you are going to want to keep that clean. So this is Sprout. And it's good to do this one-handed um, and uh, hold the pig on a platform or to have a second person help you hold the pig. So we're going to do what we can here. Uh, no! She needs to get back to her food. Um, so she, like I said, is uh, number one and number five. So I've got to do one notch here for her litter and her individual pig. Help me hold down. Uh, 
I'm going to go ahead and douse her with the betadine just to make sure that she doesn't get any infection. She's long past being sick. Um, you don't want to do it too early or too close to other things. Um, it's a real good idea to do it as they're younger so you can do their teeth, their tails, their ear notching. And um, don't forget their iron shots because the mother's milk is low in iron. They can get anemic. That makes them slow and low performers. So just make sure you keep up on all that. There's immunizations that you can give them. Um, we're going to be looking more into things like that. We try to raise them natural. Uh, but however, you know, they did. she did get sick with pneumonia. So maybe it's a better idea to look into some more of that preventative care. So that is ear notching, everybody. Thanks for watching. Ask me any questions, and I'll try and answer. Bye!